Hello everyone, welcome to Science in a Cup. So today we are going to study about LiDAR. LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging. So it is a form of tool to measure distance. So normally in our projects we use this type of sensor which are called Ultrasonic Distance Measurement Sensor. But there is also a new type of sensor called VL53L0X which is a LiDAR sensor. So the sensor looks like this and it is a powerhouse. So let us study first what is a LiDAR. So LiDAR stands for Light Detection and Ranging as we said. So it is actually used in smart cars, uh, smart vacuum cleaners and also to make high resolution maps of forests and also different lands. It is mainly used in defense like laser, guided missile, drones and also tanks. Today we are going to discuss about world's smallest time of flight sensor that is VL53L06 from ST Electronics. So let us discuss what does this time of flight means. Time of flight means a laser emits a pulse of light that strikes an object and returns back. So the speed of light in air is known that is 3 lakhs meter per second and also the time taken is known. Now distance equals to speed into time and that's how we get distances. VL53L0X that sensor has a vertical cavity surface emitting laser which emits around 940 nanometer. 940 nanometer is an invisible two wavelength to human eye but can be seen by phone camera. For detection, it also uses a single photon avalanche diode. So this is the block diagram of VL53L0X. It has a RAM, ROM, microcontroller, laser driver. Everything is in its small package. So now we'll see how to connect it with the Arduino. We need to go to Tools, Manage Libraries, type VL53L0X and download Adafruit VL53L0X. Connect the sensor in this way. Go to File, Example, browse through uh, the option of VL53L0X, select the option and upload in your microcontroller. Now you can see the graph, enjoy. So its accuracy ranges from 1 mm to 10 mm and mainly the accuracy depends on your programming skills and also it is its range is from 1 meter to 1.5 meter also it again depends on your programming skills and how you are setting and analyzing the data so a quick note like how you can correlate this sensor VL5306 with the LiDAR sensor is that if you put the, this uh, uh, VL5306 on a rotating stage and plot the graph between the rotation angle and also the uh, distance which it, the sensor measures, you can actually get a graph in which you can uh, plot the surroundings. You can, if there is an obstacle in front, you can actually uh, make an image of the surrounding area or the surrounding environment. So if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel and we'll meet you in the next video. Remember, it is okay to be madly creative. Bye.